Well, Mr. Speaker, I know that the government isn't listening to the Indigenous community, so we'll see if they listen to the business community. Mr. Speaker, recently I had the opportunity to visit the Port of Vancouver. And at the Port of Vancouver, there's hundreds of millions of dollars worth of construction in new facilities happening today. And the officials at the Port of Vancouver said to me, if Bill C-69 would have been in place two years ago, not one dollar of what's being spent today would be invested in the Port of Vancouver. So will this minister stand up today and say to the, f the business community who are investing in the Port of Vancouver, she will kill this bill. The Honourable Minister of the Environment and Climate Change. I'll stand up today and stand. I will stand up today and explain why we need Bill C-69, why we need to rebuild trust in environmental assessments. Because guess what? If you don't have trust in how you approve major projects, no projects go ahead. We have an obligation to Canadians to figure out how we're going to both protect the environment and grow the economy. I have spent with my colleagues meetings with across over two years listening to the business community. We have shorter timelines under Bill C-69. We are providing more certainty of the process. We are also working with Indigenous peoples. We are also working with provinces. We need to get this right because that way we will have investment dollars flowing.